Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the NY Gear Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Patagonia High Loft Down Hooded Jacket. Okay, let's jump right into some of the specs for this down jacket. This jacket is coming in at 530 grams or 18.7 ounces. The shell is a 100% recycled polyester ripstop with a DWR finish. And then the face fabric on this jacket is a 30 denier face fabric and then the lining is a 22 denier fabric. This is a down insulated jacket. It is 600 fill traceable duck down. Again, um, I've touched on this before in other videos, but I really um, just admire what Patagonia is doing with their initiative to make all of their down insulated jackets filled with traceable down. What that means is that none of the down is being sourced from birds that have been live plucked, force fed, or killed in the process of sourcing this down. We have two zippered hand warmer pockets on the exterior of the jacket, a full length zipper, with a zipper garage at the top to reduce chafing and irritation against the neck. There is an internal zippered chest pocket that doubles as a stuff sack. This jacket has a drop tail hem as well as an adjustable draw cord to customize the fit as well as seal in warmth. We have these nice low profile elastic cuffs. The sleeves on this jacket do have gusseted underarms and what gusseted means is essentially that there's an added piece of fabric to allow for extra mobility and movement within the fit. This also allows for upper articulation without the jacket rising up above your waist. Okay, so let's talk about the fit for this jacket. Um, for me, the fit on this jacket is pretty funky. I am 6'3", 185 pounds, and I'm wearing a size medium. Um, I found that the medium sizing for this jacket fits really well around the waist. Um, I would say it fits perfectly around my waist. However, for the rest of my body, <laughs> it's not the perfect fit. So the arms feel a little short for me, as well as when I put on the hood, it feels like sort of the jacket is being pulled up to my head. Um, because I got a medium, what this jacket doesn't accommodate for at all, essentially, is layering. I really can't put on any additional um, clothing underneath without feeling restricted or sort of stuck in my mobility. And then for the application of this jacket. So I really recommend this jacket as an around the town, in the city sort of jacket. I would not recommend it for high alpine climbing, for hiking. I did do three high peaks in the Adirondacks wearing this jacket. It was okay. If you are looking for a jacket that performs well in those areas, you know, there are better jackets out there that are gonna be lighter, more compressible, and better suited for those activities um, with a little bit more freedom of movement. Um, it's just a little bulky. Also, the fabric on it is not at all stretchy. So if you need to do any sort of articulated movement, you're not going to get that freedom. One of the best parts of this jacket is the warmth. So it's 600 fill traceable down um, and it's duck down. So it's smaller plumage that's being inserted into the jacket for insulation. However, there's more of it. I can wear this jacket with just a t-shirt underneath and go out into below freezing temperatures and still be warm. So the pricing on this jacket is $279. So, you know, it's a pretty standard pricing for a Patagonia uh, down jacket. I do think that the jacket is worth the price. For my personal rating and score of this jacket, I would have to give it an eight out of 10. Um, you know, it's not um, my favorite jacket, but it is my second favorite jacket. No, it's not. Overall, I do recommend this jacket. If you can get the sizing right and it's comfortable, you feel comfortable layering or not layering, whatever it is, I do really recommend this jacket. But again, it's, it's important that you try it on first, get a feel for it, and see whether or not this is the right jacket for you. Okay guys, well thanks so much for stopping by. Again, this is the Patagonia High Loft Down Hooded Jacket. Um, please subscribe below. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave them and I will get to them as soon as possible. Leave any suggestions for future videos and we look forward to seeing you guys soon.